every springtime when winter would finally let up, fearless men armed with only pikes and the occasional stick of dynamite would dislodge literally mountains of wooden logs cut the previous year and utilize the fast-moving meltwater rivers to float them and shepherd them, or in other words, drive them through hundreds and hundreds of miles all the way down the coast. Which brings us back to Hellgate's Canyon. This is where the otherwise large and mellow Rimouski River funnels down into a 10-meter waterfall drop. Literally hundreds of thousands of waterlogged trees, each weighing two or three tons, would have to make it over the falls without jamming and somehow squeeze through an even narrower canyon downriver. Jams would obviously occur in the canyon and would have a domino effect that could ripple all the way up to the falls. Many a limb and brave soul was lost here, 